What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here on a set of Corsa at Megatomata, cruising our way back to basically the hill section to discuss the age old discussion that is on my YouTube as well as many other Drift YouTubers why drift in third person? So, we're going to tackle that today. We're going to do a little bit of talking about it and give you guys a little bit of insight on why I personally do it and why I think other, other YouTubers do it. So, like I said, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll be found in the description box below. Let's go sliding. Let's, uh, let's have a little talk. We are ripping through this tunnel. I have to slow down. Oh, oh, grinding gears. Ooh, there we go. So we're going to the hill section here at Mega Tamada. So a lot of people have been commenting on my videos about why do I drift in third person? I hate third person, things like of that nature. But you know, 90% of the time I spend most of my time in first person or in the Oculus when I'm you know, just drifting and stuff like that for fun. The reason I and I think other YouTubers drift in third is because, well, what you're seeing, oh my, we are going up a hill. Oh, what you're seeing right now is first person with neck function. Now, as, as it looks very cool and very entertaining to watch, if I have a car chasing me, you're not going to see them unless I add the cinematic camera angles and a lot of tracks don't have those and sometimes it's just a lot harder to actually get those angles so you can see a car that's chasing me. Now I would have to spend a lot of time chasing people instead of leading for it to actually look, you know, like a cool video because otherwise it just looks like I'm drifting by myself whether my buddy Christmas or my buddy Taylor or Dave or any of the other guys, any of the usual suspect guys too, are, you know, behind me, you wouldn't even really know. Ooh. Ow. Now, if I was in an Oculus, I could look out the, more out the side window and, you know, you'd be able to see them and stuff like that. Blue Needles, I forgot this car is Blue Needles. We're rocking my S13 that is public. But you wouldn't be able to see people behind me. So for a video aspect I mean if you guys enjoy seeing this first person angle more let me know down in the comments I'm gonna leave a poll up on this video so watch this video take the poll and let me know but so what you're seeing is just neck function of content manager here on Mega Tomata in an S13 having a blast actually I love this 13 it parties hardcore for sure so we're going to switch it up once we get to the top hill. We're going to switch it up to third person. And you guys are going to see the difference in what, you know, obviously it looks like with the pivot camera and stuff like that. And I want you guys to make the judgment yourself on what you guys think is better. Do you guys prefer it first person like this or do you guys prefer a third person? Because if you guys noticed my recent video tandeming the uh, A90 versus the original Supra, you could see when Nate was behind me or chasing. Yeah, I had the cinematic view up also, but... Rocking has a very good cinematic view. So now we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna go here. Gonna switch up that that beautiful third person. And we're going to switch up cameras. There we go. And we're gonna send it here in third person with the pivot cam going. So you can see a lot more, you can kind of see where I am, and if somebody was in my door, you definitely see it. So for a visual aspect, for a video, for you guys to watch to make the video more visually appealing, I feel third person is definitely the way to go. And I feel like that's what a lot of other YouTubers like AR12, Slap Train, and you know some of the other drift YouTubers or even the Twitch streamers, you know, a lot of them drift in third person because 
to me this is personally more visibly appealing for you guys to be able to see more of the car be able to see the angle see where i am on track how close i am getting the walls dirt drops and then, like i said if somebody was chasing me how close i really am to them or if they're how close they are to me because like i said in first person you wouldn't even be able to see somebody chasing me if they were in my door so that's you know, the age-old discussion I've been having on the channel for a while when people comment about, oh, I hate third person, why don't you drift in first person? I can drift in first person. I spend a lot of time in first person when I'm just drifting with my friends or just chilling. And I use my Oculus a lot, too. But for videos, you know, I want you guys to make a judgment. Do you guys prefer this, which you guys are seeing, the third person with the pivot camera? Or back when I was in first person, do you prefer... We're going to try to rip this in fifth the first person angle you know I want you guys to answer the poll let me know we're gonna go come back to that poll and you know a couple couple videos and stuff like that and we'll see what everybody thinks because you know it's been an age-old discussion on my channel for a very long time from back in the Forza Horizon 3 days and the Forza Horizon 4 and Motorsport 7 before the drift camera came out because before the drift camera came out first person was very static so the drift camera, the drift uh, head motion, stuff like that, or here on the side of course it was real head motion or like uh, what I was using, the you know neck function of content manager, it's a, it's a game changer. And then Oculus is just even more of a game changer up there. So I want you guys to take a look at this clip and the clips before. Whoa. Kind of a long handbrake drag. And give me your full impressions on it and what you guys truly think you like to see more. Because if you guys prefer more first person, then without a doubt, I'm gonna start throwing some more first person at you. Throw some Oculus content, do you know all that stuff. So let's head over back to the main part of Tomata Circuit, do the same thing, drifted in first person and drifted in third, and give you guys the opportunity to see what it looks like totally on both, so that you guys can get where I'm coming from when I say I do it to make the videos look a little bit better and make it basically more visually appealing so let's go back to pits go back to the other part of tomata and you know get it sideways again all right the inner part of tomata the big main part of tomata circuit that everybody drifts third and fourth third a little left foot brake Little handbrake to get around there. Left foot brake in that. There we go. Staying nice and smooth. So for all the haters out there that are like, oh, you know, drifting first person, you know, third person drifting is bad. Like, obviously, I can drift in first. I can drift in Oculus. It's not a preference of drifting third to first, like i said, been explaining. It's more of a visually appealing. I don't know how close I was to the wall. And you guys will never know either. Unless I have the cinematic angles up, which if you guys prefer maybe first person with cinematic angles up top, then, you know, I will, you know, do my best to throw the cinematic angles up top so you guys can also see overhead views and third person stuff like that on top of the first person drifting. If that's something you guys like to see also, you know, I'll leave that in the poll as well. But take the poll. Let me know what you guys think. That's two full laps here at Tomata. In first, a little bit more handbrake. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love first person because you get to see the interior, you get to see the detail work, you know, the energy or at the steering wheel, and things of that nature, but we'll never know how close I am to that wall. So let's switch up cameras, switch up views, Doop. go to third, and we're going to come over here, and we're going to switch into the new drift mode. We're going to rip the same thing, but in third. So there's more to see. You can see actually where I am on track, how close I'm coming to say grass or the outer edges and stuff on that nature. And the biggest thing is in tandems, there's definitely a big difference in what you can see. So whoa, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Take the poll. Let me know what you guys think down in comments as well. Take the poll so I can get a good tally so we can go back to it and bring it up in another video and you know see what everybody is saying because I'm very curious because I get I get that question a lot or I get those comments a lot about 
you know, why are you drifting in third? And I figured I would come out here today and kind of give you guys a little bit of an insight on why I do, and I think a lot of other YouTubers do. Now, if I'm wrong, and you know, me saying that like Slap does it for that or AR12 or some of the streamers does it, you know, correct me, you know, because you know, if I'm wrong and they do it because they just prefer it, you know, that's you know their you know personal opinion, but. You know, I feel it's better for viewing aspect, and that's why I do it. You know, drifting in third person is actually a little bit harder, I feel, sometimes, because you don't have that sense of rotation as much. Yes, you can see how far you are to a wall and stuff, things of that nature, but being in first or in an Oculus is a different type of view. So, make sure you follow me on all social media. Make sure you tap that like button and subscribe. I do appreciate all the support. Hopefully, you guys are wanting to support the channel and myself here. All you got to do, tap that like button and, uh, well, hit that subscribe button, come back, watch the content, I bring this stuff for you guys, especially during these uncertain times. Hope you guys are all staying home and safe. We are, even though I do work on my normal day-to-day -day job, but doing every precaution I can to keep myself healthy and safe. Hopefully you guys are doing the same. If you guys are a central worker, big thank you to you. If you're on the front line in healthcare or anything like that, major thank you to you guys for doing what you gotta do to keep people safe and healthy so as always i like thank you guys for watching i'm evil rabbit that's a wall and i'll see you guys on the track wall tap maybe oh, oh wall tap the grass rip